Well guys, today it's going to be a bit different. We're actually opening Anne's mom's Sari Sari store and that's what's going on at the moment. So this thing is like coming off, I believe. So we're getting that off, hold on. Yeah, it's going to be a weird experience. I need to get this rope off too. Over there, over here, see what else is going on. It's all this fruit and vegetable stuff and everything like that. And then this big tent thing. What do we do with this? Do we fold it? Oh, hold on, hold on, it's stuck. Right, there we go. Right, so no fans. I don't know how I'm going to do this with one hand, but... Like that. Oh, wait, wait, there's a bit here. There's a bit here. Right, I've got two ends. Two ends, guys. Fold that end. The other end, guys. I think if I get this. No. Yeah. Stop it. Good. Bad. No. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. Anne's got the rest of that now, I think. That's it. So that's the first step, anyway. I suppose we've got to wait on customers and everything now, too. Do we move this stuff out to the front? No answer, guys. I think that is what we're doing, but but we've got, what, rice here, vinegar bottles, I think. And then different, what's that, noodles, glass noodles, possibly. There's quite a lot here. Anne told me it was just vegetables her mum did, but I'm also seeing, what's that, Sinigang mix? Or at least something, a mixture. More, that is possibly, that is possibly buku juice right there. I'm not too sure. Obviously plenty of bananas. We actually were able to take a few of them home yesterday, so I've been eating quite a few bananas. What else have we got? Lettuce. You can't beat a bit of lettuce, guys, and then other stuff, really. Just dried goods. I'm sure we'll see more of later. And a scale to weigh out the fruit and vegetables, I suppose, too, which is good. And I thought your mum's Sorry Sorry store was at the front. Does she have two? I think she has two. There's like one here, which is the main stock, and then out the front is maybe where she, I don't know, gets customers or chats to people passing through to get things like that. But this seems to be the area where it's all that big block right behind us anyway. But until something happens, I'll see you then. Wait, well, no, I want to see what you're doing. This is where you're putting these chilies on. Are these fresh that need to be done then? Is that why? Yeah. Is that Pugu juice? This thing. I don't think she knows anything about her shop, guys. I'm asking, but she's too busy doing stuff. I feel like like a like a lost cause here. But yeah, hanging things up anyway. Okay. So if I take one of them, what and put them like that, and maybe away from the other beef ones. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good. There's more here. Are we gonna try and keep these all to one, or do we put them here too? The pig ones together, guys, obviously. Uh, more pigs, more pigs. So people want to get them together, make them look neat. Wait, that's upside down. There we go. Looking good, guys, coming together. Uh, oh, we've got this. Is this adobo? Oh no, that's just vinegar on its own. Vinegar on its own, guys. Fair enough, fair enough. Get that back. Chilies, more mass syrup or magic syrup. Upside down. Guys, upside down. We can't be having that in our shop. It has to be presentable for the customers. You have to have it the right way up to entice the eye. You know, like that. And upside down. No upside down. Yeah, it's okay. It's not. It has to be good for the customers. Okay. Right. Right way up. Right way up. Guys, I've been summoned to try something called takanin. I'm not too sure where that is. Is this tucking in? Was oh, that ube? That looks like the ube, guys. It's like that uh, purpley color, if you know what I mean. And that looks like the thing we tried over at your auntie's house. Is that the tucking in? I don't know what any of it is, guys. But like, look at all that wee ball things. It's like all sugary stuff, <laughs> which is quite nice. Like, so I'm sure it is going to be quite good. This is the tucking in. It is. It looks all like so like bakery goods, like kind of nice things like that. Sweet treats, so to speak, which is nice. Hopefully they do taste nice. I say all these things and then sometimes I try it and I don't actually like it. <laughs> On our way to try Takanin, what will it be like? 
Amen. Amen. It's like jam. <laughs> like jam with like sugar stuff on top. That's it. Coconut. Desiccated coconut. It's like desiccated coconut and jam. But it's like a uh, like I don't know, like like soft and squishy too. Like um I don't know, like maybe it's got rice in it as well. I think it's got like rice, ube jam possibly, and then the coconut. It is a very nice texture actually. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had breakfast yet either, like, so it's good to have something. Right guys, Anna's just came up to me with this weird looking fruit. She says it's a guava. So that's what it looks like. She says I can't bite it or anything, and that we need to find somewhere that we can cut it. So I think that that's what we're gonna do. Okay, well I think Anna's busy here, so I need to go and find somewhere to cut it anyway. Unless that's where she's taking us now, I will follow. Are you taking me somewhere to cut this? Yeah. Okay. See, I didn't know if I was meant to go on my own to try and find somewhere to cut it or not. Oh, look, Anne's got this. A knife. Okay. I don't know how to cut this. You don't? Just like... Yeah, I know. You don't mean to do it. So cutting it, guys. Getting it nicely done. Be careful, though, Anne. Yeah. Don't okay. Cut your hands. <laughs> and we've got our friend from, friend from last time. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Are you I here to there. are you here to help us cut this? We don't know how to do it. I know. Are you you do know? You I just said there. she just said she didn't know. Right. Ah, no, you're doing well. You're doing well. Will it open? I think it needs a wee bit more cutting, guys. It looks a wee bit, yeah, a wee bit more. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Right. Will she open? Do you want to help? Oh, oh! Well no, no, it's not the right thing. Not the right thing, maybe chains. Oh no, it looks like a potato inside and nearly got into that fan too, guys. Gotta to be careful. Oh. On our way, maybe to find an actual guava. I don't know what that was. Maybe like a root vegetable, but it looks like it grew on a tree or something, so. Another one. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right here, I'll try and cut it this time to see. Here. Okay. We'll be careful. Yeah, so it's just there. There? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Put things in the way. I think I'm doing it right. Here. Okay, it didn't look the same, or it does look the same? No. Is that not the same? Not the same. This what is it not? Know. Okay. Right, successfully did it guys, that's it nicely cut open. The inside looks, I thought it was meant to have like red stuff in it, but maybe I'm thinking of like a papaya plant. So not too sure, so what do we do now? Will you show me what to do now? Let's see. What else to do guys? Do we like slice the top off there? Okay, so getting rid of like the stalks, things like that. There's obviously seeds inside it too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wonder what this is going to taste like. It's not what I expected it to look like inside it. So yeah, should be good. Wait. On our way back to try this out. Are you just biting that? Do we peel it? Wait. <laughs> it's not very nice. <laughs> it's quite bitter. It's like an apple. Like a bitter apple. <laughs> Do you like that? I mean, it's not bad, but... That's so hard. Is it ripe? Is it maybe not ripe? I don't know, guys. It's like an apple, but the inside of it. And I'm not eating the skin. There's the skin there. I've picked off it. I mean, after the second bite, it's a wee bit better, but it's not something that I would go out of my way to get. If I saw it at the side of the street, I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to get one of those as a treat. <gasps> there would be other bits of fruit that I would rather try anyway. So maybe not for me, not to my personal taste, but, you know, still, still food. 
So guys, unfortunately business is quite slow at our Sari Sari store, so I've taken the opportunity to have a look around and see what else I can find in this thriving marketplace. So let's have a look. What is going on? We've got lovely little clothes going on over here. Different what? Hey dude, Bart Simpson pajamas or and those swim shorts. Very cool, cool. Over here, more sweets, treats, waters, you name it. I don't know. I think I also saw like electrics down here. I am currently looking for like a wind muff for the GoPro because mine's not really, it's about to fall off. Um, I did see this earlier, but I don't know if we're gonna have any of what I need, if you know what I mean. It's like the black wind muff. But, hi there. Do you sell these? Like this? For a GoPro, no? No? No, that's okay, that's okay. Thank you anyway. Okay. Well, no, I don't think that they're gonna really have it here anyway, guys. There's like, I don't know, girls clothing there too. There's a guy over here, there's a barber's literally in the middle of this place. I was contemplating, like, you know, getting my hair cut too. But I think I'm gonna wait for a while. But I still can show you this guy cutting his hair. Let's see. Hey guys, you all right? Look at that skill going on right there. I'm not getting mine done today, but I just thought I'd have a look. But nice one guys, that's pretty good. There obviously is the music here too, so I shall go and maybe check out down this direction here where there is more stuff. So I'm also seeing hats, bags, footwear, and more in here too. Oh, even socks and everything like that. Kids stuff. Not too bad, not too bad guys. Hearing the frightening music going on in the background too. Dresses. Should I get a dress? Would I suit a dress? I don't know. Oh look, it's all like the speaker systems that like you would hold in the boombox to like have a party or whatever, you know, that sort of thing. I think that way is just the way out. So if we continue, obviously business could have been picking up. I might need to get back and help out here. You know, with all the, oh, I took the wrong direction there. I thought I was going somewhere else. <laughs> I think I need to go down here and then left or something. So doing that. All right there, how's it going? Working away. Merry Christmas. Christmas starts so early this um, the Philippines. <laughs> so early, well, September it starts back home, but here it was like, I don't know, really, really early, like in August or something. But, ah, uh, do I go this way, guys? Hey. Right. This way, I've actually kind of got a bit lost here. Hey, <laughs> there. Anyway, let's see. Oh no, this thing. Right. I hear my name being called somewhere. I think it's down here, and then left. Is that us back? We're back. I was exploring around, but I knew I might be needed back here, so I came. Hello. Guys, I've just spied some nice wee bits of food going on down here. What on earth is this? What is this? Fried banana. It looks like... Banana. Looks like fried banana. Banana peel. Do you have the uh, sweet potato? You do have sweet potato? You do? Is that what that is? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Can I have one of them, please? I love them. They're so good. Like, one guy gave me one of them for free in the other vlog, guys. And it was so master wrapped, so I'm going to get one of those. Um, how much for one? Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah, yeah, I'll have, uh, I'll have two of those, please. Lovely, a bit of breakfast, guys. What a cool wee thing to bump into, like you. Sweet potato, happy days. Okay, you might kill me. Do you have enough change? I, I only have a thousand. No? No. Not yet, not yet. Where can I get change? I'll see if my girlfriend has some. I'll, I'll be back. I still want two, but okay. Right, I am still getting these guys, but I need to get change from somewhere. It only costs, I don't know, 30, I think. And all I have is a bigger bill, just the way it's worked out from yesterday. So I need to go back and basically find Anne here to get some money to get two of these things. Anne, what? I need 30 pesos. How? Please. Do nothing. No, I don't have change. What you buy? Uh, sweet potato on a stick. You want one, yeah? I've ordered two, so you have one. Thank you. On our way, we got our funds, guys. If I remember my way, it's here, left, and then right. Yeah, I know I see it. It's right down there, past this dog, actually, from last time. Let's go. I am back with the correct money. Yeah. <laughs> Yay, still getting our sweet potato, guys. Happy days. Yeah, yeah, yes, please. Yes, please. Salamat, salamat. Salamat. 
Very kind of you, thank you. Oh, nice and crispy, nice and crispy. And on we go, back to our shop. See how business is going now, guys. Sweet potato. I tried one of these in the vlog in Iloilo, mm. where I had the, uh, I've got one here, don't worry. Where I, remember I gave them to the kids, because some guy gave one to me, right? Let's see what this is like, guys. Oh yeah, it's just how I remembered it. It is so good, very, very nice. Mm. Yeah. Tell these guys what you think. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. It's just sugar and sweet potato. You know, you can't really go wrong. It's so good. So sweet, really so good. Mm. Plus, it's a vegetable, so it's healthy, sort of. Uh oh. <laughs> They're just spilling it everywhere. Want to say hello? You're a blogger. Yes, hi. Say hi to these guys. Hi. Would you like to try some sweet potato? <laughs> Would you like to try? No. No, are you sure? It's really, really good. It's master up. Yeah. Master up? Okay. Yeah, this is uh, mommy. Ah. <laughs> She's told me to call her anyway. Yeah. Like, um, What's that? It's, uh, it's just just us. Ah, okay. That's us on the front screen. Yeah. 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 What, where's your shop? Here in my store. Oh, is here your store? Yeah. Are you selling much today? Yeah. Hopefully. Selling rice. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then you go around. Yeah. And for a blog. Yeah, yeah, you know, I've been around here, got some of this, saw the hairdressing as well, you know, the, yeah. the hairdressing, the snip snip and everything. So, yeah, good. it's been good. I was looking for the pork here, but they're not here till later. This one here? Yeah. In a little Last night, guys, but they had, like, over here, all this barbecue stuff, but it was, like, all busy and they were sticking all the meat in there, which was great. But they're not here today, it must be later on they open it. Yeah. So, I'm a bit disappointed they're not there, but oh well. Anyway, you're not going home yet? You have to wait at 3 to 4 o'clock. There will be around lots of people ah, eating barbecue. Okay. Like what you're eating now, about the queue. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I'll, I'll maybe come here afterwards, but I rented out my scooter and I give it back today. Yeah. So I won't be able to get here easily anymore, but yeah. yeah. But yeah, maybe. If I can get a lift. Yeah. But I'll see you. See you later. Well, guys, currently on our way to a fish farm or like a nice pond area. We're going to meet Anne's brother and we're going to have a good time apparently it's a nice area we're just in this weird looking area at the moment where there's like wee shacks or something going on there i'm not too sure why that is it's what cemetery oh that's a cemetery oh goodness right okay okay no wonder it looks so like depressing or something but obviously that's where dead people are but anyway we are on our way to somewhere a bit less sort of morbid so to speak as that and hopefully have a good time and is there going to be any food there no food? What? No food? You're kidding me. And that's it's only a farm. It's only a farm? Yeah. Did they not sell the fish and fry them? Uh, no. No? <laughs> uh, there's me just trying my best guys to do that, but okay, fair enough. But yeah, a nice wee area. I do quite like this. I, I also, I'm going to miss this bike. We're getting rid of it today at around half one. But it was fun working at that market there too. That was very enjoyable. It is something that obviously Anne does now and again, but her mum Glenda does pretty much every day. But she was having the morning off, allowing her to have a bit of rest, so Anne was able to do that. Right, on our way, there's all these geese in the road, guys, and we've got to get through this treacherous journey here. Hold on, you'll see the geese behind us in just a moment. I'm trying to ignore them, but they're flipping, they're getting in the way. What do you see? See them? <laughs> I have to navigate around them, but I think that we've ended up here and we've actually found it. We are at the fish farm now. It is a fish farm on, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, we made it. We made it. We didn't kill any gay saver. We'll go over and say hello to them too, actually. One moment, guys. All right. What do you think of that journey? Good driving? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Actually, I don't feel like I was a very good driver there, guys, but wait, where do you see these wee geese? There's wee gnomes and everything too. And mushrooms. Pss, 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 pss. Hello geese. Hello geese. How are you? Hi are the geese, they're ignoring me. Geese. Geese. Yeah, I don't want to scare them too much guys, but what a cool nice wee place. Down here, I think there's nettles or something. I'll see how far I can get. But it's like a proper wee jungle again. Look in there. That's pretty darn nice, like. 
I think Anne's down here somewhere. I'm going to try and find out. It's so strange, you know, coming from all these different places, you know, like Manila, and Iloilo, and even Puerto Princesa. I know I keep on saying this and repeating myself, but I, I don't know. It's if you if you were to go to the Philippines and not leave Manila, which is what a lot of people sometimes do, you, your impression of it might not be what it could be if you decide to have that sense of adventure and come out and try to go to the more remote places like this is Aberlan. I don't know if this is technically still in Aberlan, but it's right beside it anyway. But like, where are you gonna, like, why are you gonna decide to come somewhere like that unless you know someone who lives there who directs you in that direction? I don't know. It's like, you've just got to go one place. I decided to go to Porta Princesa because of, it was for route to get to El Nido. And then from there, you can just simply meet someone and then that takes you off your journey and you end up somewhere completely off the beaten track like this. I could have never imagined that I would have been somewhere like this on my journey before, on my preparations before, if I was going to plan it that way. It's just not something that I really would have thought about doing. Like maybe at some point in my life, but not this early, if you know what I mean. But this is very peaceful here, actually. I can't see. I think frogs might live here too. Oh, I do see, if I go over here, Right guys, you can actually see them actually. What do you see? Yeah, they're swimming around there. I can see if there's a big one in there actually. Oh, they're all here. Ah, yeah, you can definitely see them now. How nice, guys. It reminds me of, not completely, but Vincent van Gogh's painting about the lilies. I think that was in France though, but that's what those things are anyway. Those wee things, and there's some that are just opening, so it seems that this is the time of year that they're actually, you know, thriving and becoming the pad that we know of. But yeah, nice wee place to chill out. Good wee place to just relax after living the city life or even semi-city life. Pity we don't have any food on. It would have been good to have like, that would be a great place mm -hmm. for a boodle fight yeah. or even a celebration. It's one of those things, one of those places where, like, it's what dreams are made of, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we're feeding the fish. Yes. Oh, it's fish, uh, oh, what is that? It's a bluter. Okay, sell them up. Right, we're gonna feed these fish then, guys. So this is the food. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, we pellets. Let's try and get them. Maybe you. That's not, it's like a feeding frenzy. Whoa. <laughs> That's nuts, guys. Oh, look, there's a dog just arrived. Hello. We call it here tilapia. Tilapia? Yes, tilapia. Hybrid. A hybrid of what two fish? Yes. So it's a hybrid of two fish, but we don't know what two fish it is. It may be catfish and, like, I don't know. We maybe don't know. You don't know the name of it then in English, just with your own thing. In Tagalog, even. That's class, guys. I think the dog sometimes likes to eat the food. Will the dog eat the food? Yeah, you like the food. I think it is just meat. It's just meat, like maybe like liver pellets or something. So the dog quite likes it too. I wonder what's down here. Here, I'm gonna go to the bridge and feed some. And <laughs> look, the geese have all came. Did the geese like getting fed too? It's a turkey. Oh, turkey? Yeah. Oh, I was calling them geese this whole time. It must be ready for Christmas. Do you guys eat turkey for Christmas? No. no? We don't eat turkey. Ah, see, we eat but... turkey for Christmas back home. Uh, other people buy to um, make uh, lechon, lechon Yeah, like lechon? the barbecue. Yes. It's it's not as, it's quite dry, turkey meat. Is like, it delicious? No, well it is, you have to like add a lot of moisture to it. It's very dry compared to chicken or manuk. Yes. But it, it is still quite good. I'm going to see if they like the pellets, guys. What do you see? We also sell them. You sell? Yes, 1,500 pair. So, for, for two? Yes. Ah, so you can breed them? Ah. Right, guys. I'm gonna throw this at them and see what happens. Yeah, they like it. All the animals like it. Hello, turkeys. <laughs> guys, what is going on with all these turkeys in the background? <laughs> Can I get closer to them? Uh, 
guys, I'm making a flock of turkeys. We are in formation. And they're all going that way towards the back. How cool. Anyway, we'll go back. <laughs> hey, man. Guys, I've got them here eventually. I'm gonna empty all this in now for them. See the frenzy go. Whoa, look at them go. So across the bridge guys and we're in like a, I don't know, CR area. I'm gonna maybe wash my hand after touching all that food. It smells meaty. Yes? You looking in the mirror? Yeah. Ooh. Right, hands washed. CR accomplished. What else is around here? Let's see. There's a hole. But I nearly stepped in, but I didn't, which is good. And then here, just more greenery. I think there was like a river, my nose is switchy. There's like a river down here. Not a river, but like an area. There's obviously the CR in here. So if you need to use the toilet, you can. Fair enough. But out here, I don't know. There's not really a path here, so to speak. So I'm having to maybe like, there's a spider's web there too. Go across this way to maybe get further down and then there's more I think it just continues all the way up there guys there's lots of like spiders webs here or something but so I don't really want to walk them up but you can walk across here I suppose there's also coconuts here for some reason to maybe like help you walk if you needed to yeah I'm gonna go back here this is like spiders live here loads I'm walking into loads of them things anyway back I don't actually know where we're going next but Everything has just been a surprise. Lovely Flower, which is Anne's cousin, who we're also with, who gave us the fish food. She was asking like, well, so where do you go after this? And I was like, I don't know. Anne just says these things and I go. And like, I do that and I've ended it up here today. So sometimes it works out. It usually does work out. It hasn't not worked out yet, but we'll, we'll soon see. Oh, okay, right. We finally found somewhere that we're gonna try and get some food anyway, guys. I'm actually very hungry now. So hopefully this place has something that I do like. Anna's just chatting away, having a look and seeing what sort of stuff that they do have. Right now, this is the only thing I see. It looks like, um, I don't know what that is actually. It looks kind of like the black adobo I made with balsamic vinegar, but I highly doubt it is that. What else, Anne? Pork adobo. Okay, and then that one. Sisuk. Okay. Seasick's like white here or something. It doesn't look like the... Oh, it's Bacol Express, right? Okay. Is that with the coconut milk? Bacol Express coconut milk. It is, it is. Okay, okay, right. So coconut milk, Bacol Express. That does sound quite good. Maybe I'll get the adobo as well, but what else is in here? That looks like... Uh, that also looks like pork of some sort anyway, guys. In here we've looked and um, this is... Oh, that's the butternut squash. That's the nice vegetable stuff that they have. So. Yeah, I know that, that is quite good. Um, can I please have the Bicol Express and an adobo? Adobo? With rice? Yeah. Oh, you've already got the rice, okay, okay. So Anne's still yet to choose what she wants to get. Um, we'll find out later anyway, I suppose, what she gets. But yeah, I'm thankful we've actually found it anyway, guys. <laughs> guys, I've just also noticed while we're waiting on the other food that they have some like street food on the stick here, which is good. So let's have a look. What is the crack over here then? There's a queue of people, which is always a good sign. Hi there, how are you? Well, that's the chicken intestine. And then that, is this fish ball? Yes. It is fish ball, it is. And Lumpia, what is that? Dynamite. dynamite. Dyn is that a chili? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no dynamite for me. No dynamite for me today. It's spicy. It's not spicy? Yes, it has a cheese inside. Okay, <laughs> they're enticing me to get it, guys, okay. Uh, right, I will try one of the intestine and one dynamite, please, yeah? I'll try one of those. Yeah, we'll try it out. It's got the cheese, apparently the mask for chili, which is good. I'm waiting on my change for man, obviously. And then we'll get these guys paid up too. But yeah, dynamite, you know, by the name of that, I don't really trust this other woman, what she's saying, but it isn't because of the cheese, but only time will tell, guys. And then do I do you recommend what sauce would I put in that uh, usually? This 
sweet. This one? Yeah. Sweet? Because yeah. it's already going to be spicy. Like <laughs> <laughs> um, did I just dip it in? Oh, that... I know. Let me give you some. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that looks like it'll be enough then. Thank you so much. More, more, more. More? Oh. More? Okay, okay. No more. No more. Hey! <laughs> Dynamite time, guys. Right, I'll bring this over here, get some dipped in. We shall see. Right. Here we go. It's not, it's not. It's not, it's not spicy. No, no, it is, it is. It just started getting spicy. Oh, flip. But it's delicious. It is very nice, but it is very spicy. You <laughs> joking with me? <laughs> you just have chili inside. I know, I know, I know it's a chili. It's spicy. Do you want to try some? I don't like. You don't like? I'm gonna. Eat. It still tastes good, but it's very spicy. Mm -hmm. Not even up it. Got that. In the bim. Hmm. Oh, ma'am. Very good. Thank you for your recommendations. Sure. I'm sorry for the dynamite. <laughs> yeah, they tricked me. <laughs> it's so spicy. <laughs> Here is the nice. lab. I need this to cool me down. Wait, that one looks good. Oh, yeah. Did you pay for mine, too? Mm. Cool. Right. What do you think? The good old chicken and test time? Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's good. Yeah, I actually like these. Like, before I came here, I was thinking, I might not like that, but turns out I do. I just get my head away from the fact it's the inside of a chicken. It tastes really good. I would recommend. In for seconds, guys. In the middle of the road. So it's road food. Maybe not street food, unless this is called a street. Oh, well guys, what a nice day. That was eventful. That food was absolutely beautiful. I very much enjoyed it. I think the last one I actually tried was a fish one, but I had got it had a fishy taste afterwards, which I wasn't expecting. But we're on our way back to our lovely accommodation, Cuckoo Bloom. It's gonna be good. We, is this it right here? Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to go now and give this wee turn a corner. So, well, actually, I'll show you a bit of this road. It's nuts, guys. What do you see? Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, no guys, screw that, I'm gonna stop it here, but until the next time, see us later. <laughs>